Hi, good afternoon. My name is Alberto de Rosario. I am a sixth year in this program. I go to the State University of New York at Stony Brook. Um, I'm a senior there. And I will be presenting to you on cloning of the common expression factors that encode into Lugan 15. Into Lugan 21, it will serve for its consumer reality studies. The experimental objectives are really simple. They're just basically to produce HIV-derived retroviral vectors that allow T cells to express the cifers and into Lugan 15 or into Lugan 21. What this simply means is, I will show you later on what, um, what we're trying to do with cells in order to help eradicate tumors better. And in order to do that as well, we have to produce T cells that are officially expressed these cytokines in order to learn more about their effects on T cells and setting their tumor immunology. Um, what this basically means is for you that, that do not know, cytokines is just basically a hormone. Interleukin 15 and interleukin 21 are basically hormones that help to, uh, T cells to eradicate cancer better. Why are cytokines important? And what is the role of luciferase in these experiments? Cytokines, as I said before, are important because they help T cells uh, to um, enhance their their main their main goal, which is to eradicate tumors and eradicate other things as well. These, but the way that we track them down is using luciferase. Luciferase is basically uh, enzyme substrate. It, it's an enzyme that using this enzyme substrate, luciferin over here, is is um. That's how we make it come out. So what that basically means is that we inject cells intravenously to the mice, and when you inject the, the, these new T cells into mice, the way that we crack them down is by using luciferin, and it expresses it when you take a picture of it. So that's basically the role of it in the T cells. It, that's basically the role of the T cells in the living body of a mouse. This is three plasmids right here. Um, we started out with these three plasmids, and each one had a piece that we want. Like we may have wanted this one or this one, and the way that we did it is using restriction enzymes. Now, at first, we used these two enzymes for for this pieces because they gave us the exact bands that we wanted to actually make to make the the ending vector that we want. Now, this is for the rest of them. These are restrictions and enzymes, all of them, and these are uh, what the product of, of using these restriction enzymes on these three plasmids. We, pure, we first loaded it up in a gel, and then we used gel purification to take out the pieces that we want. And then we use DNA ligase to ligate all the pieces together to make one final vector with whatever interleukin, either interleukin 15 or interleukin 21. In this case, it's interleukin 15, which is shown right here. And now we have the final vector with interleukin 15. Now, how do we know that this is the right class and then not four piece, um, three pieces that were just the same bands? Well, the way that we did it was that we used another restriction enzyme and we separated it and it, it was supposed to give us it, it was supposed to give us four different bands and that's how we tested out that it was probably the the, the accurate the accurate vector. And this is the results. We checked it out in a gel. This is a marker with the, basically a DNA ladder and this is the sample. These is the, the bands as you can see by the lines and this is what this is how we proved that we had it to be 15 in that certain plasmid. Now, the problem with interleukin 21 that we had in my laboratory was that we did not have the interleukin 21 gene in the plasmid. So the way that we did it was that we used a cDNA library and we took it and we put it, we started out with a cDNA library and then we heated it using PCR for the mystery reaction which is basically using this machine, it heats up the, the, the DNA, which separates the bands, and over here, then you put primers. Now these primers attach to the three prime end and the five prime end. And using TAC polymerase, it fills up the rest of the bands, making it an exact copy. This 
process repeat several times and then you keep getting more and more making up to millions of copies and allowing us to use the interleukin 21 which is what we need in order to do what we did with the interleukin 15. This is the PCR results, the polymer chain reaction results and the way that we did it is we noticed that that this is the, the interleukin 21 gene that we wanted notice how it's cut out here but then we had an extra band over here that, that we didn't know what it was. My mentor actually told me to take a guess. I knew what it was, he knew what it was, I didn't know. Which, I took a guess and it was the primers. Now the primers, the reason why they're there is because they are uh, band as well. It's just that they attach to the three prime and the five prime end of the interleukin 21 gene. We basically took the same procedure for, as the interleukin 15, took three different plasmids, three different um, enzymes, Lift them up into pieces, use gel purification to take out the pieces that we want, uh, basically cutting it out and purifying the gel. And then when we got the final vector again, we used another restriction enzyme besides the, uh, aside from the three other ones that we used to check that this was the correct final product. This is again, once again, the result proving that we did have the correct interleukin 21 lens of vector. Now, what is my mentor's role? And when I first started this project, I was a little bit too young to go into what is called tissue culture. This is working with mice and and how we how we test it out, the second step. So what my mentor did was that it was his role to take these these um, desired genes and make them into. Uh, after I did them into the antiviral vectors, he transduced the T cells with these vectors and injected the, the mice intravenously with the transduced T cells. What does this mean? He took, he converted, he took our genes, put them into the T cells, so basically like our regular T cells, and and um, and he injected into the mice. Now, some of the questions that my that, that you might ask is. How do these mice um, allow, how do their immune system allow normal human T cells to actually be in their body? Well, the answer is real simple. These mice are knockout mice, which means that their immune systems are so low that they allow any, any basically, any T cells to be, to work in their immune system. So imagine yourself not having your, having such an, a low immune system that I can inject any type of immune uh, T cells, like from mice or anything. So that's why the mice didn't reject the T cells. And then what he did was that he checked the, the, the tumors to see, if he, he injected tumors into the mice and, he, and after injecting the, the transduced T cells, he checked to see if the tumors had gone down. The way that he did it was he measured the tumors and this is and this is how we noticed whether the results of the, of the different interleukins was actually a positive one or a negative one. Now, up to now, he's noticed that interleukin interleukin 15 was pretty pretty slow start, but then it it kept eradicating more. And interleukin 21 started out well, but then started decreasing. What does this mean? This simply means that using these cytokines is helping to eradicate the cancers, but at the same time, there's, there seems to be effects where some keep increasing at a slow pace while others start out well and do, and do work. Then he was trying to, now he's trying to look into um, another type of cytokine, which is interleukin 7, that's what he, um, we will be working on next and then he'll notice whether that, he's checking out different similar interleukins to see which one eradicate cancer better. These are some of my references that I use, and I would like to acknowledge Dr. Michelle Sandelaine, who's the director of the laboratory in which I work. This is John, my mentor, and of the Sandelaine lab that they call me, Dr. Sat, and the Heart of Children's Society.